What's up, everybody? All right, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about enumerating with Sparta. There's a lot of ways you can go about enumerating. Um, some people prefer to do it through command lines. Some people like to use tools. It kind of really just depends on your personal preference and perhaps a specific situation. Uh, but today, we're just going to talk about Sparta. So um, there's a couple ways you could go about this. So to get started, let's just go ahead and open it. So we're going to go to Applications, Vulnerability Analysis, and then Sparta. Go ahead and give it a moment. And if the fir it's the first time you have ran it, it might take a little while to load. Okay, this is what you'll be presented with. Over here is where you'll pitch your list of hosts that you would like it to scan. Over here will be all the details. Here's the log. And it also has some brute forcing capabilities. Now there's a couple of ways you can go about getting started. If you already have a list of hosts, you can simply go ahead, double click in here, and you can add them in manually, one by one. Or you can do a range. So, why don't we do a range? So first off, let's get a terminal window open. All right. And the first thing you want to do is determine, if you don't already know, what is your IP address? And I got a couple of interface cards here. So the one I'm working with is actually right here. So I have a laboratory set up and I have several servers running at least 10 probably more like 15 um, that way we have a nice somewhat realistic network out there and a lot of these um, servers have vulnerabilities so it's a it's a good um, environment for practicing ethically alright so anyways we got our uh, IP address here so now we know where we are in the network so now we're going to go ahead and scan that network for any other computers and do a little enumerating and see what we can learn about what else is out there for us to play with. So as you can see, I went ahead and got my IP range in here. We'll go ahead and click uh, to scope. I'm going to kick back, grab my Rockstar, maybe throw on some Archer, and go ahead and let it do its thing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to sit here and let it scan. And as you can see over here on the left, it's found a series of hosts here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 computers on this subnet. And what Sparta is going to do right now, as you can see down here, this is what's actually happening all its tasks that are running on each specific host. So I'm going to clear out the finished ones. And you can see right now it's running some vulnerability scanners on some of these hosts. So if I fi want to find out any details, I can just click on that host and then it'll populate with these tabs. So we can see that this host has a web server open on port 80. And uh, this Sparta will go out and actually grab a quick screenshot of what's on that port. And that's this tab right here. Ooh, that looks interesting. So we know this server has got this website on there. So we might want to investigate that later. So let's see what's going on. We have another one here. Let's see what its website looks like. Uh-oh. That looks hackery. We might want to investigate that, see what's going on. Let's see, what do we have here? Yep, this one has a website too. And it's got some sort of file. Let's check out these other ones. Now basically all these servers are uh, vulnerable um, servers that have been downloaded off the internet, made specifically for practicing um, ethical hacking. If you go to vulnhub.com you can find tons of them and they're free to download. So 
So you can see also with the icons, if it's able, it's not always able to do so, it can identify the operating system of that host. And scans are still running, and these will run for a good while. So let's go ahead and take a look at our output um, for the web server vulnerability scanner. So you can see we have a few things here. Um, I'm not. seeing anything that is majorly risky. I mean we might be able to use some of these here to further gain information or help us in this process. But nothing major. Let's check out this other server. Oh wow. It's. It looks like it has a lot of stuff going on here. Now, some of these could be false positives. You always have to take that in consideration. But with all of these, man, wow, we got a lot of stuff to play with here. What server was this? Ah, yes, this was the hackery one. This server looks very vulnerable. <coughs> Let's go back and see what services it has run. It only has the web server running. But I bet there's a lot of stuff we can do on that web server. So we can see that the web server is outdated. We got access to some admin scripts. We can view source code, assuming all these are accurate. We would have to test them. So it looks like this um, server has a, a host of web applications. So this um, this is probably set up for practicing web penetration via web application hacking. And that's why we're finding so many different types of vulnerabilities. So I mean definitely find some ways of hacking into uh, this server. And you can see we still got scans running. And it runs in map, in map scans and they progressively get more in depth as they go, trying to pull more and more information. And this is a different server here. see what did it find so we can view index directories that can lead to information leaks so I have some advisories to review there So this one also has a lot of web concerns. And it also has SSH open. So that means people can connect to that server. Now, if we knew usernames, we could try to brute force our way into the web server. Um, and it looks like the only way we could really try to do that is see if there's anything going on on the web server. So now I'm kind of curious. Let's just take a look at this davici.html and see what we got. Um, what server was that? Uh, let me two and 
so say two two four one four four help if I get that in there right. The answer you seek will be found by brute force. How funny. Um, ah, let's, what else do we have here? Damn it, Margo. Stop setting your password to God. At least try and use a different one of the four. Try to use a different one of the four most common ones. Eugene, again, two, three, four, we found by Fruit Forest. Gibson Mining Corporation. The four most common gods. What are the four most common gods? So now what I would be trying to do is, yeah, definitely root forcing. Um, I bet you this is one we could probably brute force by just hand. Um, so, let's just go ahead and just try a brute force, just so I can show you how that works. Alright, so we're going to work with this host here. Um, so, let's go ahead and go to brute. We're going to put in its IP address. We know it's working on 222. Um, Margo. Uh, can't help but guess that the uh, username is going to be Margo. So no point in trying to brute force the username. So now we need a password list. Um, Kelly comes with a good one. Inside, um, if you go to the file system, go to user, share, um, then come down to word lists. And we'll use RockQ. That's going to take a long time. So, all I am able to manage is 64 threads. So, let's just give this a quick go. So, we've got our uh, thread set. Um, if you need to do any additional options, uh, this is mainly for web brute forcing or other stuff, but for SSH, we don't need that. So, we just got our username of Margo. Uh, password list is right here. Da Vinci. I almost want to try like Leonardo Da Vinci. I don't know. So anyways, <clears throat> once you have all that set up, all you do is go ahead and click run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and this is just because I had one from previously. I don't want to restore, so I'm just going to wait so it will kick off. Error target SSH does not support password authentication. What? So let's let's take a look um, at that server. What was uh two two four? problem was let's see
we'll stop playing with that and get back on focus. So, anyways, you can see that's basically how um, Sparta works and how you can scan your network and uh, see what you have going on out there and what services are open and uh, what some of those vulnerabilities might be. I captured the flag. Yep, you can see this one's got some stuff going on too. Cool. Well, anyways, guys, just uh, let me know if you want to see any other topics covered, and thanks for watching.